a little bit to show you what we're trying to do. We are trying to do this. <laughs> So you can see, I'm the one in the middle, right there. That's a caricature my daughter, she's an art student, did for us. So we're a group of charitable organizations. I am here. We work for Cura Americas, and we use many of the digital uh, imaging that Nigahi has made. What we do, we're trying to help to fulfill the Millennium Goals, three of them, uh, reduce child mortality, improve maternal health, and work together with other organizations, global and local. So having ultrasound is exactly like having Superman vision. It is something of this cycle. Uh, nobody would have thought of this before. And look, we can promote it, do it, and show everybody in the world how to use it. The first exam we do, we should know what the lady has inside her. If the baby is alive, say, we need to know the heart, is it working? Is it pumping? The head, is it where? Is it up or down in the canal? And the placenta. Remember, that's one of the causes of maternal mortality, bleeding. So this is how we do it. We go, we give the ultrasound machines, we teach the midwives, the doctors, they're usually general practitioners, and we train them with two main things. Online, but all in uh, iPad. You don't have to have ultrasound, to, to have internet to get ultrasound. You can have it directly, in, even in your iPad. And the books are completely contained, teaching how to do the diagnosis and how to do about it for the treatment. We also do, see, they don't have internet most of the time, so you have to give something that is contained. We already have two books in English and Spanish, and we're doing, uh, developing the simplified obstetrics for rural areas also, and we need to do it in different languages, and that depends on where we're going. This is the digital program. See, it has many parts. You can go to the different things just by touching. And it is in English and in Spanish so far. And you can even have a text mode where it says your teaching, teaching has been successful or not. You have a test in each of them. You have for breast, for anatomy, for muscular, for OB. So we teach them how to use the equipment and we teach them how to use the help methods that we have in digital form. But we also do video teaching 
for midwives, comadronas, which are not even midwives. They're the uh, women on the village that is accustomed to deliver the babies in their own languages. This is in Chuj. We did three different languages and we're teaching exactly what they need to know to make it work. They used to have a high rate of maternal mortality in this place. Now they have none where they have the casas maternas in Curamericas, Guatemala. The most important is this, the hemorrhage. So we're not only teaching, we're telling them how to prevent it and what it is. How much blood they are having, the bleeding, the risk factors when you might have that for a problem. So they are aware. And then how to correct and promote and prevent. One of the most important is breastfeeding from, from the beginning. That makes the uterus contract. But also we have the medicines that are needed to make it contract in their language. If the first line of treatment does not work, we go to the second line of treatment and then to the third line of treatment, and then we still can make it to the hospital. I was working five hours away from the first hospital, and we always had the people get to the hospital on time. And this we did for the first time with the digital form. This is what we did in Guatemala for two months. Thank you very much. <laughs>